Lab-grown diamond production rises, but prices fall. Lab-grown diamonds are clearly here to stay. The report says pointing to the beer's entrance into the market and the Federal Trade Commission's decision to remove the word natural from its definition of diamond. Given the pace of declining production costs and wholesale and retail prices, it adds, we expect lab-grown stones to become accessible to a wider consumer audience. While reading through this article, it reminded me of the secular claim that diamonds take billions of years to form. If you search how long it takes for a natural diamond to form on Google, the preferred answer pops up as between 1 billion and 3.3 billion years, which is approximately 25% to 75% of the Earth's supposed age. Well, because of lab-grown diamonds, obviously it does not necessarily take long ages to form. All it takes is the right conditions which we can simulate in a lab and produce diamonds relatively quickly. The idea that diamonds take millions of years to form is an assumption based on a naturalistic worldview that assumes slow and gradual process. Even some secular sources admit we don't actually know how long it takes to form a diamond. We really don't know how long it takes. There have been attempts to try to date inclusions in different parts of diamonds, and those have largely been unsuccessful. But there is great evidence that diamonds are actually young. Diamonds are the hardest substance on earth and extremely resistant to chemical exchange. Yet testing has shown that diamonds contain carbon-14. This is an important discovery because in the conventional paradigm, C14 is only detectable up to 80,000 years, so they cannot be older than that. And yet these diamonds are considered billions of years old. The claim that diamonds form in billions of years have been shown to be false. Under the right conditions, diamonds can be made in days. And the fact that we still find C14 in diamonds is yet another confirmation that they must be young. Diamonds likely formed deep in the earth during the global flood of Noah's day. You see, the more we discover about nature and the universe, the more it aligns with God's word. Thanks for watching everyone and may you all have a blessed day.